Good evening, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Can you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking. All right, so let me see here. There you go. Excellent. Very good. So let's see. Let me see who is already in the class. So I can see George. Good evening, George. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Cesar. Also Ingrid. Juan David. Carla Melissa. Hello. All right. Milagro. Hello, Milagro. All right. So Nelson. Eh, Norma. Hello, Norma. Roberto. Hello. Ronald Alexis. And hello, hello, hello. 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 Welcome Sam. to the jungle. Oh, thank you very much. All right, so let's see. We are going to start right now with this activity. One quick second. Oh, here it is. Let me share this screen right now so we can start practicing. All right. Well, let me see if you can see this one. Yes, you should be able to see it right now. Can you see that? Yep. Yes. Yes. It yeah. All right. Excellent. So everybody, good evening officially and welcome to the class, right? I know it's Friday, Black Friday, right? But thank you for being here, right? Truly really appreciate that responsibility. So let's see right now. So since it's Black Friday, I have a promotion for you. Another tongue twister, more difficult. All right. So. Let's see this one. Remember, we are going to start practicing with the tongue twister so we can activate our English level and our pronunciation and intonation as well. All right, so let's see. This one is easier. It says, Betty bought a bar of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty beat a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Easy, right? So it's gonna be like, Betty bought a butter of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty beat a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. All right, so Betty bought a butter of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty beat a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Easy, right? Black Friday promotion. There you go, there you go. So, my friends, you have right now two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes to practice this tongue twister. And then I'm going to select some volunteers to pronounce it. All right. Let's see, let's see. All right, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Betty bought a bottle of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty beat a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Like that. Very good. Very good. Let's see. You still have one minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds. Oh my God. All right. So you still have time to practice, of course. Right. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. So, there you go. Excellent. We almost finished like this one. One more minute, one more minute to practice. One more minute to practice. All right, so. Betty bought a butter butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty beat a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ready, ready? Ready, ready. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Time. 
Hands up, everybody. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now tell me who it's going to be, my volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer, the first one. No volunteers. Oh, excellent, Roberto Josue. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, very bad a bar a bar of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So very bit a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Excellent, my friend. Thank you very much for that one. That was a good job. All right. Thank you. Thank Who's you. my next volunteer? Yes, yes, yes. Norma. Hello, Norma. Go ahead. Hello. Bye. Very bog a bad of bad, but the bad very bog was bad. So very big a big of bad to make the bad bad bad. Good job, my friend. Thank you very much. She was like, I did it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who's my next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Rene. Hello. Good evening, Rene. Tell me. Very bad a bar of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So very bit a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. All right, good job, good job. All right, so you pass it. All right, thank you. Next one, next one, next one. Who is it? Yes, yes, yes. Next volunteer, next volunteer. Ah, come on, people. I will start selecting like this. Let me see. I have a long list here to choose. Let's see. Uh, Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Hi, teacher. All right. It's your time, your turn to practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very bold, a bar of butter, but the butter very bold was bitter. So very bit a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Excellent. There you go. Are you see, and you didn't want to participate, and you did it good. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. So, who's the next one? Mm -hmm. Monica. Hello, Monica. Hello. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Time to shine. Um, very bad, a bar of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So, very bit a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. To make the bitter butter better. All right. Very good. Thank you. So, that was nice as well. All right. What about the next one? Next volunteer? Me, teacher. Excellent. One. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Very bad, a bar of butter, but a better bitter a boat was better. So, bit, bit better. Bit a uh, bit of butter of to make the bitter butter better. The bitter butter better. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. You were doing a very good job on this one. All right. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And you were like, no, I don't want to participate. I'm scared. All right. So thank you. Let's see who's next. Next, 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 next. Uh huh. Aquí se necesita un milagro para leerlo bien. Ah, I know. I understood. I understood that. No worries. Milagro used the next you said. Sandra, hello, Sandra. Go ahead. Betty Bob's a bar of butter, but the butter very bold, but bitter, so very bit a bit butter to make the bitter butter better. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. That was actually good. All right. So, Milagro. You are very popular. So people says that you have to participate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let me try. All right. I'm going to try to do it in a serious way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Betty Bow about a butter, but the butter Betty Bow was bitter. So Betty bit a bit of butter to make the bitter butter better. Right, you see, it was easy, 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 peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> All right, so let's see here, let's see here. All right, so and who's the next one? Uh huh. You know what? Last night I didn't hear. Ah, yeah. Colocho, Carla Melissa. Ah, you knew it, right, Carla? Mm -hmm. Hello, Carla. <laughs> yes, Carla. Hmm, the microphone seems to not be working. Okay, now I can hear you. Oh, uh -huh. 
<laughs> okay, well, let's see. Who's going to be the next one then? Where is... Jose, is Jose, oh, thank you. Jose Vaquerano. Yes, okay. Jose. Jose, Jose. Mm, now I am seeing who is actually online. Let's see, let's see. You see, I can see also Patricia. It's there with no camera, but it's there, Patricia. All right. Me? Me? Yay. Oh, okay. Okay. Very bad a bottle of butter, but the butter very bold was bitter. So very bitter a bottle of butter to make the bitter butter better. Ah, oh my goodness. That was amazing. All right. Good job. That was just like. I'm done. All right. So good job, Patricia. That was a piece of Thank cake you. for you. All right. Thank so let's continue with this one. Thank you, everybody who participated. Remember, that was just the first activity, right? So mm. now let's just go ahead and verify the grammar topic for tonight. This is going to be the one we have here. It is gerund phrase. What is a gerund phrase? All right. Can somebody help me to read this definition here about gerund phrase? Please. Um, a phrase that consists of a gerund, its object, and any modifiers. And any modifiers. All right. Thank you very much for this one. So it's a phrase that includes a gerund. For example, this one. Eating. The gerund. What is the gerund? The gerund, it's a verb that ends in ing. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, that's going to be like, okay, Xiomara, I'm in Xenia. No problem. Uh, eating, right? In this case, it's the verb. Right, so and remember the gerund is going to be always associated to the ing. So then the direct object, like this one, and then the modifier, and then the complement, which is about here. So the gerund phrase it's when you're talking not about an um let's say here, not about a subject, you're talking about an action, an activity, all right, and that's why you use the ing. So, for example, you can see there right now that says eating shellfish quickly, it's a bad idea. Okay, what is the subject in that sentence? What is the subject? Shellfish. Shellfish. No, it's not. That is the object. Ahí está, como object. What yes. is the subject? Bad idea. No, that's the complement. What is the subject? Eating. The person, the person who's eating. Yeah, perhaps, right? So, but in this case, we need to understand something right here. So we are not talking about anybody. So there is no one there. There is no he, she, it, I, we, whatever. There is no one there. All right. So we don't have a subject. We don't have any, you know, I, you, we, they. So now what are we talking about? We are talking about the activity. Activity. And what's the activity here? The activity is eating. Now, something super important is that you have to understand eating in this context as comer, no comiendo. Understand? Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So for you to understand this one right here, it's going to be a comer, all right? A, when, what are we talking about? Like, what are we, um, let's say for example, shellfish, what are shellfish? Shellfish, it's como seafood, all right? So mariscos. Yes, it's similar. Mm -hmm. It's similar, all right? So it's similar to seafood, all right? So mm -hmm. when you translate this sentence, it says comer mariscos rapidamente, it's una mala idea, all right? So, or that would be an example. Let me see now. I'm going to give an example in Spanish so that you can try to give an idea in English. How do you say eh, revisar el teléfono en clases? No es bueno. Uh -huh. How do you say that? Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. Checking. 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 Uh -huh. Cell phone. Checking the phone in class. Phone. In class, 
it's a bad idea or it's bad? It's a bad idea if you want to say it like that. It's a bad idea or it's bad as you prefer. So we have uh -huh. this one right here. So checking the phone in class, it's a bad idea. All right, very good. So no subject, it's just about checking. All right, so very good. So how do you say, for example, um, beber café en la noche no es buena idea. Drinking, drinking coffee at night mm -hmm. is a bad idea. At night, it's a it's bad a idea. Better. All right, thank you. All right, so as you can see here, this is how it works, right? So we're talking mm -hmm. about like the activities, right? Activities, and we're saying this one. All right, um, in something that we can include or we cannot include, it's the modifier. So for example, in the example we have there here that says eating selfish quickly, it's a bad idea. We can actually use this one and we can perfectly here uh, eliminate this, this quickly. word quickly, the yes. modifier, all right? Mm -hmm. So, and it is not going to change mm, the, the idea that much, right? Because we change from comer mariscos rapidamente a comer mariscos. It's not a bad idea, right? Sometimes the modifier, it's important and necessary, right? But sometimes you cannot have it. Like, for example, on the left side of the screen, you can see like drinking coffee at night, it's a bad idea. Do I need a modifier in that sentence? Drinking coffee at night? Mm -hmm. All right, so perhaps the modifier will be at night in this case. All right, so. Okay. Yeah, yes. Exactly, all right, so, or checking the phone in class, that will be the, like the modifier, or you can say also, checking the phone many times in the class will be a bad idea, for example, all right? So, but that that's basically what a, a general phrase means. Do you have questions about this? Mm -hmm. <coughs> questions? No. no. No questions, okay, cool. Let me just continue here with the next, um, examples right here all right so we have two different type of gerund phrases as subjects and as objects what is the difference between a subject and an object well the up the subject it's the main person or the main activity in a sentence right they do the action or they are the action in this case right and as objects they receive the actions all right or this is like the secondary part in a sentence so let's see what I'm talking about. For example, who can help me to read here the first sentence, this one right here? The designing clouds, the designing clouds is not a man's job. Ah, take a look at this one. That's actually very sexist. All right. So comment. Yeah. It says really like does. designing clouds is not a man's job, it's supposed to be only for girls. That's very sexist. Mm -hmm. Um then you go on this one. In if you have like to translate this into Spanish to, to compare both grammars, it, there is no subject. We're not talking about someone. We're talking about, in this case, the action of designing clothes, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, like designing clothes, it's not a man's job, right? What about the second one right here? Volunteer for reading? Being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Exciting, all right. So you're talking about the fact of becoming a flight attendant, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then you complement the idea of being a flight attendant to like, with that, let's say, complement that it helps you to describe better the activity, all right? So for example, being a flight attendant, and then I can change it for something negative. It's dangerous, all right? Or mm -hmm. it's risky, Etc. But in this example, I have something positive. Being a flight mm -hmm. attendant sounds exciting, right? So the person is expressing happiness, uh, saying that phrase, for example, right? Mm -hmm. What about number three? Volunteer for reading number three? Yeah. Oh, come on, people. Just reading. No worries. Mm -hmm. Writing a gossip column could be fun. Thank you very much. That was Marin, right? 
Karen. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Writing a gossip column could be fun. Oh my goodness, imagine. Well, gossips, gossips. Oh my God, gossips. All right. <laughs> so sometimes we do it for free, right? Imagine <laughs> getting paid for that. That would be a good idea. <laughs> so let's see. Writing a gossip column could be fun. All right. And then the last one right here. Directing a TV show would be interesting. Could be interesting. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. So on these four examples that we just read, so we are just talking about the activities. So I'm not talking about anybody, any person here. So I'm just talking about those activities individually. Now, let's see how they work as objects. All right. So uh, please help me out with this one right here. What is it? Uh -huh. um, with the... Oh, Patricia, go ahead. Oh, no. He wouldn't like being a fashion designer. Uh -huh. Very good. So he wouldn't like being a fashion designer. All right. So what's the difference here? Como object, la... the, the important part of this sentence, it's not being a fashion designer. We are talking about he. he. Okay. All right. So he's the one actually doing. And then the gerund phrase becomes the complement of a sentence in this case, mm -hmm. all right? So it says like, he wouldn't like being a fashion designer, right? Mm -hmm. Or what about like the second one here? Mm -hmm. Let's see, um, George, can you please help me to read it? Hello, George. Yeah, sorry because my I, I'm a little sick, but I will try. Oh, no problem. Go ahead. He enjoy being a flight attendant. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. So he enjoyed, uh, or he will enjoy being a flight attendant, right? So again, here in this situation, we are talking about him. And then the compliment will be being a flight attendant, all right? What about the yeah. next one, which is number three? Hmm? Yeah. She will be good at writing a gossip column. All right, same thing here, right? We're talking about she, and then this is gonna be like the compliment here, all right? And the last one, my friends. I love directing a show. Thank you, Norma, all right? So same thing happens, like they to subject and directing a TV show, it's the compliment there. So this is how you can use it. As a subject, it means the important part of a sentence, when I'm talking about the activities or as an object, when I, they are just the complement of a sentence, all right? So questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No questions? Very good. If you don't have questions for me, let's just practice on this one right here. So we have here eight, eight activities let's say that we can talk about all right working as an architect taking care of children winning the lottery oh that's my favorite one uh, conducting an orchestra uh, working on a movie set that could be interesting too making a living as an artist mm, mm, no writing for a newspaper mm -mm. <laughs> retiring at age 40 wow. i'm very close <laughs> to that age so yeah that would be interesting all right so Let's see. The, Those the are the number, huh? the number the seven. The number seven is my is my job. Oh, writing on a newspaper. Yeah, <gasps> that's oh. your job. Oh my god, yeah, that's my job. Oh, oh interesting. interesting. <laughs> nice. May I ask what uh, newspaper are you writing for? Uh, 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 the, uh, the is is a uh, channel channel uh, YouTube channel. Is, oh, YouTube is, channel. Uh, yeah, YouTube channel is um um is 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 um is a channel is um from uh, Peru. From Peru. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, interesting, All right? So maybe yes, you can- Yes, 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 you know, your name is um, uh, Alternative Press. Alternative? Press. Press? Press. Oh, yeah. Press. 
press, 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 uh, press. Uh. Okay, okay, interesting. We are going to Google it on YouTube so we can watch okay. the video. Yeah, on the yeah, channel. no problem. Yeah. All right. Or you can share the link in the group. All right. So, Ben, let's see. What are we going to do? We are going to like make the sentences here, right? So to organize it and match them. All right. So um, remember, we only we have here eight, and you have to add two activities more. Your personal, like for example. Uh, acting on a movie, being a singer, being a teacher, being a doctor, being the president of El Salvador, whatever, right? So, and then you are going to use these ones to connect them. Seems, which is parece, sounds, must be, could be, will be. Remember that these ones can be repeated, right? So, because we only have a six, all right? And then this is like what describes at the end what you have, right? Like awful, scary, fantastic, fascinating, which is going to be like this one to me. All right, so pretty difficult, right? Kind of boring, really rewarding, very challenging. And for the ones that you are going to add, you need to add two more descriptions here, all right? So is it clear, people, the instructions for the activity? Yes? Yeah, sure. All right, thank you. Can someone take the screenshot and send it to the group? Because I am going to send you to the uh, breakout rooms right now so you can practice with the partner. So let's see, breakout rooms. There you go. Okay. Okay, everybody, I already organized here the breakout rooms, right? So if someone doesn't have a partner or, you know, the person who is supposed to be in the room is having internet connection issues or microphone problems, whatever, let me know so I can move you to a different room and you can continue practicing, okay? Fine, excellent. So please accept the invitation and join the breakout rooms. Hello. Thank you, David and Roberto, for sending the screenshot. Juan David, what happens? Norma, what happens? Okay, go on. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano, do you have, we have connection problems? Okay, fine. So nobody else is alone, just Sandra. Let's see here. Carlos. Senia? Hello, Senia? Senia, Senia, what happened?
<laughs> Sounds fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Okay. okay. Okay, number four, conducting an orchestra. Um, teacher, we can can we repeat the yeah, the letter B you can repeat it as mm -hmm. many times as you want. Yeah, I'm very I, I think I'm very sure that the conducting an orchestra must be pretty difficult or an orchestra, yes, because you need to know how to read those uh, musical sheets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, must be. Mm, fantastic, difficult, yeah. Working on a movie set could be. Mm -hmm. At least for me, could be fascinating. Mm -hmm. Me too. Did you know that they are recording a new movie in El Salvador? Uh, which one? Because I've been hearing a couple. Um, last Well, at the beginning of this year, I guess, or last year, they recorded a movie about El Salvador's war, right? Mm. Ah, with Annie Hathaway, or I don't know. No, no, no. Which I guess it was Paz Vega, an Spanish actress. In... Oh, I don't know about that. And now, you know, uh, Julio Judice, Latenches, mm -hmm. it's the directing a new movie, but for Hollywood, no, like for this mm -hmm. right? <laughs> no, I've been hearing this one with, it's actually on Netflix with Annie Hathaway. It's not the entire movie, but there's a scene where when she's in El Salvador with the, with the world. Oh, I guess I saw that movie last year. Right. Yeah. Right. So this one, I would like to be in a movie so I could be the bad person. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, mm -hmm. questions? No questions? No? Okay. So I'm going to go to a different room. If you have questions, let me know. Okay. Okay. All right. I can add the. Uh... Uh, going to a space uh, must be scary. Must be. You don't want to be an astronaut. No, it, it's no, no. It seems very scary. You have a lot of things in there, and you don't have breath. You you can breath in there. Mm. What are you scared about? Mm. For me, it's scary uh, being in, in in space because here you can go one place or another. You you know the things uh, up there is other world. Uh, if you have an accident or something, your life is almost over. Maybe the engine stopped working, right? In the middle yeah. of the space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's worrying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> really scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and the other we can add is uh, visiting the Giza pyramids sounds fascinating. Mm -hmm. Egypt. Egypt. Mm -hmm. How did you say? What did you say? The, the uh, visiting the Giza pyramids sounds fascinating. Yeah. I heard you say visiting the mother in law. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. <laughs> visiting the mother in law could be scary. scary. <laughs> 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 or very challenging. Tell me, very challenging. Bro, who is going to say going to that place is fascinating? Nobody. <laughs> oh, no, that is scary. Not scary. 
All right, great, excellent. So you finished, people? Yes, we actually we are, we was in the number ten. And... We we were we were we, we were. were we were yes yes sorry. exactly exactly all right very good so we are going to a uh, close right now the rooms so you can go back to the main station okay 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 all right thank you. Well, everybody, welcome back to the main session. So we are going to continue right now here with this one. All right, and I would like to hear your ideas, right? Remember in this one, since it is about opinions, so it's not gonna be the same for everybody, right? It depends on everybody's opinion here. All right, so I need a volunteer with number one, number one, number one. Uh huh. Who's going to be my volunteer? Thank you, Roberto. Go ahead. Okay, number one, uh, working as an architect sounds uh, very challenging. All right, sounds very challenging. Okay, excellent. Thank you. What about number two? Number two volunteer, who's going to be that one? Oops. Thank you very Taking much. Uh-huh. Uh Taking care. And then it's really rewarding. It's really... Oh my, oops, oops, excuse me. All right, so it's really rewarding. Well, uh, well, if you like it. All right, so let's see. Uh, Alicia, number three. Uh, okay, number three. Winning the lottery. Winning, winning. Must be winning, winning the lottery must be fantastic. All right, must be fantastic. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, number four. Number four, number four. Conducting an orchestra uh -huh. will be, uh, well, pretty difficult. Pretty difficult, exactly, right? So because you need to know about music and the movements, etc. right? So yeah, it's hard. Uh, number five. Number five. Um, working on a movie set could be fascinating. Mm -hmm. Working on a movie set could, could be, be fascinating. Fascinating. Yes, 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 yes. I would like to be an actor, right? So too. <laughs> yes. But, you know, not the main character, maybe the billion. <laughs> right? So, yeah, they have more fun in the in the movies or, or, or series. Yes, or the right? Like yeah, them. sometimes you're better. That's true. That's true. All right. Like so, the Joker. like who? Like the Joker. <laughs> oh yes, of course, right? <laughs> Batman. What the hell, Batman? Forget about Batman. All right. So, <laughs> number seven. Oh, number six. Sorry, number six. What are you for that one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Come mm -hmm. on. You're just reading. Uh huh. Juan, Ingrid, Margarita. Who is it? Roberto. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, making a living as an artist uh, in this country could be awful. Could be awful. Yeah. Well, that's true. Alicia, number um, what? Number seven. Correct. Writing for a newspaper must be uh, very challenging. Very challenging, yeah, because you need to know all like about yes. like how to read that things. Exactly, read that. Okay, yes. Uh huh. Next one, number eight. Retiring and edge. I'm sorry, George, go ahead. Go, okay. go ahead. go ahead. Caesar, go ahead. No, I mean, Caesar activated the microphone, but I guess it's not working. I'm sorry, George, can you please help us? Okay. Retiring at age 40 mm -hmm. will be fantastic. Yes. I, I'm sorry, uh, my, my signal is fading, but I think. That's fine. No problem. No problem. All right. And what are two of them that you would like to add? Mm -hmm. 
Which ones would you add? Working as a firefighter must be pretty difficult. Working as a pilot will be is pretty difficult. Oh, it's pretty difficult. Yes. Pretty difficult. All right. Yeah, definitely. All right. So working as a pilot will be difficult. All right. Excellent. And the last one? Who can give me another idea? Running in the morning. Is mm -hmm. let me see, running in the morning will be good for life. To be good for mm -hmm. life, yes, 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 yes. But you know, depending on the time, right? yeah, so know. four o'clock in the morning, it's yes. okay. Then. Very good, excellent. Thank you, George, and thank you, everybody else who helped me with this activity. Do you have questions before I move forward? No. No questions. Okay, cool. Let me clean the screen here. Excellent. And before I move to the next activity, let me check attendance quickly, my friends. So okay. let's see. Alicia Choto. Here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Jose Asensio. Not here. All right. Carolina Paz. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Cesar Fernandez. Yes. Connection okay. problems. Uh, senior, 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 senior. I'm here, teacher. Yes, no worries, uh, Caesar. Okay. Well, Senia is connected. All right. Uh, George. Present. Ingrid Maricela. Present. Thank you. All right. Ah, yeah. You see, they say present, but when I'm asking for volunteers, <laughs> what are you, Ingrid? Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's raining a lot. Oh, where? Yeah. Where's so me? I can't listen very well. All right. Where do you live? Because here in San Salvador it's so hot, but it's not raining. In the in the in the liber, in the libertad. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So I have Ingrid, mm -hmm. then Irma. Irma, Irma. No here. Uh, Ivis. No Ivis tonight. All right. Johanna. Mm, Jose Baquerano, yes. Present teacher, present. Okay, I said present. I'm gonna write here. Jose is active. Uh huh. Volunteer. Okay. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, Carla Melissa Colocho. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good. So Kimberly Rachel. Not here. All right, Lucy Elena. Present. Hello, Lucy. Ah, no camera. Oh, volunteer. There you go. Let's see this one. Margarita Abigail. Present. Yes. Mirna Yenet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Monica Daniela. Present. Where? All right, so, ah, uh, well. That's Marilyn Daniela, right? Mary. All right. And what did I say, Monica? Okay. Monica? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I said Monica, but you said pressing Marilyn, so I'm going to take it anyway. <laughs> All right, so. Um, Nelson. Nelson, Nelson. Yes. All right, Norma. Yes. Present picture. Patricia Garcia. No, here, only Patricia Castellanos, all right? Yes, I'm here, teacher, Thank yes. Thank you. Rene Alberto, yes. <laughs> all right, Roberto Josue, yes. Ronald Alexis. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Sandra Elizabeth, yes. I am here, teacher. Stephanie Abigail. I'm here. Thank you, volunteer, Stephanie, all right? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's move Teacher? quickly. Give it Who? Do you mention my name? Yeah. yeah, I guess, I guess. Yeah, sorry. I escaped it, but I took uh, your name. All right. So no okay. problem. Okay. Thank you. And I'm sorry. All right. So let's see here. Okay. Let's talk about comparisons, everybody here. So now we are going to compare 
what activity it's better or you know more interesting or whatever than another one all right so we already talked about the previous activities right like participating in a movie and running in the morning somebody said there it could be like going to the gym eating a lot you know smoking drinking whatever right so and we are going to compare this one so we can do it with four different things the first one would be with adjectives for that we're going to use the comparatives and, and for example we have the first one right here which he says is more interesting than can you give an example an example an example what is more interesting than other things i will say for example uh, watching my, horror my. movies it's more interesting than watching romantic movies for example <laughs> all right so what about anybody here any other volunteer for more interesting my lovers is more interesting than, than my wife what excuse me yes <laughs> what did you say can you repeat it no 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 <laughs> we're talking about activities all right, so. I, 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 I say. All right. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you for expressing your thoughts. All right. Comparing people here. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Jose, yes. Read, read manga is more interesting than read, reading comics. Oh, my God. Well, First of all, remember, it has to be the verb with ing, reading. Read, okay. Reading reading manga is, is more interesting, interesting than, yes. than read, reading. Uh, reading comics. Depending on the manga, my friend. What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, Evangelion. Mm. Uh, One Punch Man. For example. All right. Mm. Yeah, but the comics are the comics, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you appreciate it all right well let's talk about the opposite less interesting all right so like for example um let's see let's see oh watching the news is less interesting than watching a movie for example of course right so uh, what about you what well, what can you tell me about it mm -hmm. Something that is less interesting than another activity. Uh, the what's the question is um, Cinderella is less interesting than uh, Godfather. Watching the watching the, the Godfather. Godfather. Yeah. yeah, we can agree with that one. That's an excellent movie. All right. So then let's see. A uh, harder than we're talking about harder than which is a uh, this one right here harder than that's going to be like more difficult right of course so in my opinion studying mathematics is harder than studying english of course okay it depends yes 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 like if you ask me like hey jj can you uh, help me with mathematics and i said i'm sorry no, so we're no, that's not my thing, all right? So we can go to like something different. All right, so then, uh, and we got the, the opposite. It's not as hard as, for example, learning English, it's not as hard as learning Japanese, for example, right? Sure. It's a more complex okay. language, all right? So like that. So that's with adjectives. Let's see with nouns, all right? Um. With nouns right here, let's say this one right here, we're talking about this one. So we have this one, which is the adjective to compare, but this is the noun, all right? This is what I'm going to change, all right? So, and then like, for example, let's say, how do you say, um, San Salvador tiene mejores edificios que Nicaragua, for example, all right? San Salvador. Uh -huh. That's better building than Nicaragua. Uh-huh, excellent. So as you can see here, we change uh, the word hours for buildings, all right? Mm -hmm. So, and then we compared, of course, right? And then you go this one, isn't as much work as, like this one. For example, another activity here. No cuesta tanto, no es tanto trabajo 
como otra activity, right? We can say, for example, um, working as an actor isn't as much work as working as a soccer player, for example. All right, so because it requires more uh, physical training, just to say something. Um, and then, um, I don't know, it says there has more educations, right? But what about this one? So for example, how do you say San Salvador tiene más tiendas que San Vicente, for example? San Salvador has, has more stores than San Vicente. Exactly. So we, in this example, change education and then add stores and then we make the comparison, right? So like that one, thank you. Now let's go with verbs. With verbs, um, you know, basically people, you can use more or less then right as much as as well but in this case we're talking yeah. about verbs we can change the verb in this case we have the verb earn which it means ganar when it comes like to money right it earns money ganar dinero all right so uh, for example um, let's say we can change the verb here all right mm -hmm. all right and we can actually this use different things for comparison so for example you can say uh, my brother eats more pupusas than my sister, anything like that, all right? If we're going to talk about subjects or if you want to say about uh, activities, all right? So uh, working as an actor earns as much as working as a soccer player because this one in here, it's about like the same basically, right? And then we go with the past participles, right? Which is like, es mejor pagado. All right, for example, o es mejor educado, for example, if you want to say it like that. All right, so eh, like working as a doctor, it's better paid than working as a teacher. All right, so you have to say something there. Okay, clear? That depends on the, that depends on the country. Well, you're right also, right? I, I'm just taking my countries. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> right, so let's see. All right, excellent. So, well, questions about this? No questions? All right, excellent. So, well, to finish today's class, my friends, we are going to work in the last activity, which is this one right here, right? So I'm going to, uh, you know, listen to you. Well, basically, we're going to be working in the breakout rooms just for a couple of minutes before we go uh, disconnected. And then you're going to talk about a job you like, you know, what are the good points, this ones, and what are the bad points? So for example, working as a doctor, good points, good salaries, bad points, bad schedules, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, so on working as an actor, good points, a lot of money, bad points, no privacy. Um, you know, just to say something, right? So things like that. Is it clear? Yes. All right, excellent. So that's basically what we have right here. Well, you know what? We don't have too many minutes left, all right? So we better do it here together, all right? So I will listen to some volunteers so you can help me with your ideas on this one. So let's see, who wants to help me with the first one? Uh-huh, what job would you like to talk about here? Mm -hmm. Working as a, or an? A chef. As a, as a chef, very good. Good points? Mm. Great food. Um, it can it can eat all, all food food. Chef don't mm. eat. That's not true. Chef don't eat. <laughs> all right. So, what is it? Good points. Good points. Well paid. Well paid. Mm. Well, as George said, depending on the country. All right. So that's right. All right. There you go. Uh, but points. It's tired. It's tired. Not tired, but in this case, will be tightening. Demanding. All right, so, or demanding. Very good. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Imagine cooking for a lot of people, different dishes, taking orders. Jesus, no. All right. So then we go on this one. What about another job? Mm -hmm. Working as a nurse. Nurse, all right. So we'll be like working as a nurse. All right. So good points. To um I think it will play too. Of course. If I'm seen, not wrong. 
No, you're not. Actually, I have seen nurses with amazing cars. All right. So well paid. All right. In what points? Um, the schedules. <laughs> schedules, right. All right. The schedule. It's actually, you know, sometimes they have to work entire days, right? Mm -hmm. In the hospital, 24 hours shift. All yes. right. Let's see the next one. Uh, this one right here. Next one, number three, what would that be? Working as a pilot. Oh, you got a problem with the pilots, uh-huh. <laughs> Working as a pilot. Good points. Well, well paid, right? Well paid, a busy in a lot of countries. You know, yeah. I will say that, you know, it's of course well paid, but I will say another good points, what you mentioned, you can travel anywhere. <laughs> travel anywhere. Imagine traveling to Europe, Asia. Oh, oh my God, that would be awesome. All right, so bad points. Dangerous. Dangerous. Why? They 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 can have accidents. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. It's more possible to have an accident on the street. In the, <laughs> park, yes. so. the car. The car. And the car, <laughs> exactly. Right. Especially in our country, huh? All right. Another another one. Mm -hmm. Another one, another one. Yep. Ah, working well, as a lawyer. All right, so. Lawyer. As a, as a what? Lawyer. Lawyer. Do you say lawyer or liar? Which is yes. Right, <laughs> so. <It's> lawyer. <laughs> lawyer. All right, thank you. Working as a lawyer. There you go. The same. All right. So. It's the same. <laughs> Basically the same. Well, or synonym, synonym. Synonyms. All right. Synonyms. So, very good. Uh huh. Good points. Uh, good points. Um, Help people. Helping the people. Helping people. Yeah, but it's a benefit for me as a lawyer. Uh, for the well. people, all right. <laughs> uh -huh. Good point. I, I will say that they I also well paid because lawyers charge a lot of money for a document. Or wearing nice suits. <laughs> oh, okay. Good point. Wearing nice suits. Wearing well, sometimes nice suits. There you go. Excellent. There you go. There you go. Like this one. Uh-huh. What about the next one? Like the bad points. Probably some blackmail behind. <gasps> blackmail? Enemies. It... Mm -hmm. Enemies. It... I go for that one. Enemies, of course. Do you think that could be like, like they can actually get some uh, revenge? You know, exactly. Revenge. Mm -hmm. Revenge enemies. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. All right. Excellent. So then, 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 then. Now, before we finish, let's just go with the last, 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 last activity here, which is going to be this one. To use these expressions in complete here. All right. It says, I wouldn't be good at. So something that you wouldn't be good at at the job. For example, I wouldn't be good at uh, being a soccer player. I don't like running. All right. So what about you people? What you wouldn't be good at? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be good cool, at uh, teaching English. Why not, my friend? You're super <laughs> good. Yeah. You're I was going to say a teacher, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but You're... not like in English in, in general, because yeah. sometimes it's hard for me to explain myself. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> now it's not that difficult. All right. So, but you have to like it, of course, like every job, right? Uh, let's see. Next one. I wouldn't enjoy, or I will, I'm sorry, I will enjoy it like in a positive way, or I will dislike in a negative way, right? So, for example, I will enjoy being a congressman. Mm -hmm. Congressman. You know what is congressman? Yes. What is a congressman? A diputado. Yes. <laughs> in politics. 
<laughs> Someone who works in politics. Yeah, of course, of course. I will enjoy that, right? Uh -huh. But I would I would dislike uh, working as a major. Uh -huh. You know what's major? Alcalde. 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 So no, I wouldn't like that one. All right. So it's too much work. All right. So let's see this one. Next one. Uh, what about you people? Something that you will enjoy and something that you would dislike. I will hmm. enjoy being in a movie. Oh yes. Very good. Action movies, comedy movies, romantic movies. Mm, horror movies. Horror movies. Horror suspense. Oh yeah. Interesting. Something that you would dislike. It's like being in a, in an opera. In an opera. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. All right. So, good. Understood. Understood. The next one. It says, I wouldn't be interested in or I will be interested in. All right. So, for example, I will be interested in participating on a movie. I will be the brilliant. Mm. All right. So, all right. But I wouldn't be interested in a uh, being a doctor mm -mm. all right mm -hmm. so like that what about you for example patricia something that you will be interested on and in sorry and by saying the opposite okay i will be interested in um working as a chef okay and and i wouldn't be interested in um playing an instrument a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. All right, great, excellent. And the last one, I wouldn't, oh, I would, I would be excited by participating. Uh, no, I will, I would be excited by uh, being a singer. I can't, but I like the concerts. All right, so, or I wouldn't be excited um, by teaching math. All right, so, no. For example, here, Let's finish with you, uh, Mr. George. Tell me something that you will be in excited about or something you wouldn't be excited about. I wouldn't be excited by taking care of children. Nobody. Uh -huh. And something that you will be excited about? No, wouldn't be excited. No, no, I got that one. But something that you no, would be excited about. Okay. What would that be? For me, I will be excited by driving an airplane. That's flying by, by and pilot, a plane. By piloting a break, uh, uh, or flying a, a a plane. How do you how do you say that, that to drive in, in a pilot? Uh, well, if you're talking about the action, it's flying. Flying, yeah. Mm -hmm. Flying a plane. Uh, flying a plane. Great, excellent. Thank you. All right. Well. Everybody, I'm not going to uh, stop you on here. I mean, we're going to stop right here. I'm not going to take more of your time. So we're going to stop right here. And thank you very much for joining the class. It's been a pleasure to be with you on a Friday. I will see you on Monday. Remember, you have to go to the platform and finish section one and two. No problem. If you want to continue uh, and move forward, you can do it. All right. Any questions you might have, you can text me. And we will be more than happy to help you. Have a good night. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good, Good evening. Bye-bye. Good night, I said. Jesus. It's because it's Friday. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye.